everyone back from my hiatus I'm going to do a video of my beloved childhood San Jacinto Mall located in Baytown Texas this mall is no longer standing so I'm going to take you for a trip down memory lane to my childhood mall located in Baytown Texas and it's called San Jacinto Mall it uh, was a state-of-the-art mall when it was built, and it celebrated 38 years of Christmas. So I wish everyone a happy new year, happy, healthy, and safe new year, and I will be back in the near future with lots more content as I'm going out on the road in 2023. Let's take a walk through this beautiful mall. Right before it was demolished. A story of the rise and fall of San Jacinto Mall.
Those long hallways had restrooms down at the end. You had to walk a mile to get there. Construction on the San Jacinto Mall in Baytown, Texas began in 1980. And the scheduled opening was for March 1st, 1981. San Jacinto Mall was a regional shopping mall located in Baytown, Texas. It was last managed by Fidelis Realty Partners. The mall had a gross leasable area of 1,156,000 square feet. The mall ceased operations on January 4, 2020 and will be redeveloped to an outdoor shopping destination. One of those shopping strips, and if you notice, there's a banner up there in the what once was a beloved food court the first phase of this strip is due to open in November of 2020 which it probably should already be open now the mall was anchored by Sears JC Penney's Macy's Montgomery Ward Mervyn's service merchandise Bell's Palais Royal and Marshall's anchor stores this was a huge complex. It had an upstairs playground, including a shadow room, a carousel, turtle racers. It had some wooden play toys, like a one of those little round tunnel things where you run, like, you know, where those hamsters get on those little round things and run. It had one of those. I remember trying to get my toes stuck in the the, the slats of it and it also had a corn dog seven in the middle of the food court now there was also an elevator that led you up to the upstairs playground it was an old otis elevator and you could see the whole entire food court from the top of the elevator it was a beautiful beautiful mall with parquet wood floors arched ceilings with beautiful inlet skylights it had kites up above every anchor. It had like a whale. It had a dolphin. It had an octopus. It was just the most beautiful mall in the summertime back in the 80s and 90s. I remember at one of these stores right there, there was a dollar store that played loud music and they sold Dr. Pepper gum. That was the all, all the rage. That one right over there. They sold Dr. Pepper gum. Or Dr. Pepper flavored gum and Coca-Cola flavored gum in that store. And we would walk down from the upstairs playground, take a break, and walk down to that dollar store and get a package of Dr. Pepper gum. Now there's the Macy's courtyard at San Jacinto. There used to be a kite. This was after Hurricane Rita. It came through and it smashed some of the skylighting so the wind blew in to the mall and it damaged a lot of the interior of the mall and there was also a flood from the storm surge that's why you're seeing all these caution uh, signs up the floor had cracked because there was a flood that came up in there what a shame it was such a beautiful place so that's what happened to this beautiful San Jacinto Mall. It was uh, Hurricane Rita that, that did a number on it. And what a beautiful place. What a beautiful, beautiful place. This was a beautiful place to visit in the summer on a hot Texas hot day. One of my most fondest memories is coming here and eating at the baked potato place down in the food court. You could get a whole huge, huge baked potato. And you could put cheese and broccoli and sour cream. You could even put sesame seeds on it. And I remember how it tasted and it smelled so good in here. And in the food court there were little kites that would turn around in a circle and also a scoop fountain I'm going to show you in a minute. So San Jacinto Mall... Is one of my favorite, favorite malls. And it's a shame they tore it down because I really miss it so much. I visited Texas in 2012. 
I went back to see all my friends and family from, you know, days gone by. And we actually went into this mall. We visited one day. And it looked nothing like it used to. Nothing. It was all purple. The food court looked like a flea market. And I asked everybody, what happened? And they said it was the result of a Hurricane Rita that came in and blew through there and, and caused a lot of widespread damage. Millions and millions of dollars in damage to this beloved mall. And they had to close off the Montgomery Ward wing so that we couldn't walk back there. But the Montgomery Ward wing actually had the original uh, fixings, the, the original, I think it had like a, the fountain, but it was not running. But it had a lot of stuff back there before they turned it all off. And this was a beautiful, just a beautiful, the most beautiful mall. And I, I thoroughly miss it. It was demolished in 2019. And that's basically all about this mall. Um, it was a regional shopping center, and um, everybody from all around Houston came and, and visited. On their opening day, Santa Ana and Sam Houston made an appearance, and also Mayor Hutto made an appearance. And it was the best thing that ever happened for Baytown. It brought revenue, it brought tourism, because everyone has to see this beautiful beautiful place and of course it was one of my childhood malls and I'm going to show you a picture really quickly of what the mall was like when they were first constructing it there it is there's the San Jacinto Mall Right when it was first being constructed, you can see the arched ceilings and everything. And they were showing the mayor, and they were showing all the building properties around, and they were showing the owners around in that picture. The very early picture of San Jacinto Mall. The shadow room in the upstairs playground, if anyone's watching and remembers it. You go into the shadow room, and the lights were on. You put yourself up against the wall. The lights go off for about 15 seconds and then they come back on and you can see your shadow pasted on the wall. That was the shadow room. They had all kinds of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fixtures in this mall. Beautiful stuff. And as we walk out, that was a cassoulet right there. Mexican restaurant. And there's the doors to the outside. The Montgomery Ward store was 85,000 square feet. There's the upstairs playground at San Jacinto. Isn't that a beauty? This was just the most beautiful mall you'll ever, ever see. So let's take another walk around 38 years of Christmas at San Jacinto Mall. Beautiful, beautiful mall. Upstairs playground looks like it's empty, but that was the place to come in the hot summertime. And over there, you could get a baked potato, and there was a corn dog seven over there, and a couple of other neat places to eat. That was the movie theater. But the the ceiling was just incredible, incredible. The arch ceilings. Now that was the closed off wing to Montgomery Ward. That was.
was just such a beautiful experience. The food court was called the Market. Playground overlooked the food court. An old style Otis elevator had illumination all around the windows, little bulbs glowing. The floor had a raised circular pattern. That's the closed wing, the other side of the closed wing. When I was there in 2012, there was a closed wing. That flashes from Santa Claus photos. And there was a Piccadilly in the, the mall. And I believe there was also a Luby's with six unbelievable movie theaters. The grand opening was March 4th at 6 p.m. And it was called Cinema 6 in San Jacinto Mall. State-of-the-art comfortable seating. The best taste in popcorn in the world and nice people to serve you. And you could also meet and greet the stars of the Battle of San Jacinto at the movie theater grand opening March 4th, 1981. And like I said at the beginning of this film, it was San Jacinto grand opening with Santa Ana and um, Sam Houston. The, the roller town was on the upstairs playground. You could take a uh, turtle ride upstairs, and they had the, it was called the Family Amusement Center upstairs, and you could get coupons out of the newspaper to go and visit. And I never liked taking off my shoes for the bouncy castles. They had a roller rink, yes. They had a roller rink where you could skate. <laughs> they had an arcade. And they had uh, beautiful places to eat. Let me show you. Those kites were in the food court. They would actually turn like windmills. And it was just a beautiful place to sit and eat lunch. I was just really sad to see that they had gotten rid of this magnificent, beautiful shopping mall. One of these stores down here near Macy's, they hosted Spuds McKenzie one time, back in 1987. And actually, we went to get some pictures with Spuds McKenzie. And she was a beautiful dog. They said it was a boy, but it was actually a girl. And they love their old Spuds McKenzie puppy. And in just a little while, I'm going to show you some images of the food court and the kites that were in this mall. Including a whale, an alligator, an octopus, and a dolphin, I believe. For the kids of the 80s, the San Jacinto Mall was the center of our universe. And how true is that? Let's look inside and see what the food court looked like. These kites would hang in the courtyard of each uh, 
anchor store like Montgomery Wards, Macy's. This was the Palais Royal Alligator. And below it, they had a description on the fountain, a plaque of what it was and who it was made by. Those are the revolving pinwheels in the food court, if anyone remembers those. Very beautiful. This was the original food court. It had the pinwheels. And it had beautiful parquet wooden furniture. If you, if you look. Oops. It had beautiful parquet wooden furniture in the middle. And you can sit in one of those chairs. And they were quite comfortable. It was underneath the revolving pinwheels. This was the octopus kite. This was in the Sears courtyard. And underneath it had a fountain and a description of what it was. We would see all of these kites. We would have to walk around the mall and see how many kites we could see in one day. Because it was just something out of your imagination. There's the alligator kite again. Its tail would come all the way around on the other side. But it was multicolored. See that? That's beautiful up there. The kite I remember most fondly was the whale in the Montgomery Ward Courtyard. And it was a beautiful green, blue, and yellow kite with a purple fin. And it had a description right there in the fountain of what it was. Wouldn't you just love to walk into the market food court again and see the pinwheels going around in a circle? On a hot summer day. Unfortunately, this is what it looks like. The beautiful pinwheels are gone. The fountain is gone in the center. That's exactly what it looks like now. That was the fountain back in 1990. It had scoops or spoons. But if you've enjoyed this beautiful walk through San Jacinto Mall one last time, even though we can no longer do it in reality, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I've got so much fun planned. Thank you for watching. That's the fountain now. It was nothing but street signs. And the trees were gone.
that was such a beautiful food court also. That was the movie theater. What a beloved mall San Jacinto Mall in Baytown, Texas was. One of my most favorite places to go in the summertime. I love San Jacinto Mall. Maybe one day in the future it'll resurrect itself and become the best mall it's ever been. Thank you so much for watching and I wish everyone a happy new year. And there's much more content to come. So don't forget to subscribe.